no, being honest, there's nothing I'd rather do less than go work out for an hour. Why am I speaking about my clothes like they're a lost puppy that needs to rehome? the best person from One Direction during One Direction. So you don't want me to say Harry Styles? No. Well, you can. Baby, I'm perfect for you. morning I'm so excited for today's video because I wanted to start the month of April off with like the most fresh productive motivating video my whole life I've absolutely loved everything that is like lists and getting your mind into a place where you feel like you can conquer the next month the next day the next year all of that stuff and especially going into April I just had this itch of spring cleaning and making everything feel fresh and new and I feel like a lot of my house has felt like it's busting at the seams we've hosted a lot and every time we have people over it's my favorite thing ever but it's just like okay let's get the house clean for people to come and then we're just gonna kind of get back into our life quickly like wash the sheets do it over again my closet is bursting at the seams so I need to go through my clothes and donate those and just allow room for new exciting pieces that make me feel inspired and want to like work on my style or even just focusing on the pieces that I already have but not having like an overwhelming amount so that is something that I need to get done today that I've been putting off I've been using this planner from the daily grind and I absolutely love it not only because it's like very cute obviously but you don't have to buy a new planner every like couple of months or for the new year because you actually just put in your own new planner sheets so it gives you in like four month segments and I'll talk more about this later in the video once I get a little bit into things but yeah that's just kind of what I'm working on now and setting those intentions for the day and making sure that today is nice and motivated because we have a lot to get done also I just remembered that I have to grocery shop and I figured it would be fun to do like a little grocery haul of some different reset things I have a workout class and I'm pretty sure I have a lot of actual work to do today so it's gonna be a busy day and I'm excited to bring you guys along let's get motivated for spring together I have a new little sitting corner in my house because if you have noticed our living room looks a little bit different Every time Josh leaves the house, I swear he comes back with a new plant, but I do love that. And this whole little corner is so cozy now. I have like plants all around me and it's just fun adding things to our house. We moved in a year ago, but we still have so many things that we wanna do. So I'll give you the, all of those updates in this vlog because yeah, I'm just excited about some different home things. But I love this little corner now because I can sit here in the morning and get done some of those like top morning priorities and it's just nice to have a cozy little spot to do it. I'm sad because it was just a hair wash day and every time I go to this workout class, I sweat so bad. It's the like sculpt and flow one. And so it's a hot yoga, but it also has a bunch of like body weight, burpees, push-ups, like using weights and all that. And I have never sweat so bad in my life. The last time I was there, I had sweat like dripping off my fingertips. So actually that's my reminder that I need to bring a sweat towel today because I had nothing to wipe it off, especially when you're wearing something like this. I was using the strap to wipe sweat out of my eye. So Hopefully I can revive my hair after that. Is there anything worse than when you get in your car and there's no gas in it? So I just drove here. I have, I think it's like 20 miles left till empty. So that means unfortunately I will have to get gas after the class, but I did not leave myself with enough time to do that before. I'm dreading going in. Nothing in me wants to go in. But I know that when I'm finished, I will be so happy and so proud that I did this. But yeah, no, being honest, there's nothing I'd rather do less than go work out for an hour. Mm -hmm. 
I know I said this the last time that I went, but that class kills me. I was dripping in sweat. I feel like I came down a little bit from it, but it's looking like it's gonna be a hair wash day. I'm back home now and I'm literally so hungry. I don't know what breakfast things I have. Josh and I are actually trying a new meal service called Methodology and I'm very interested to try some of these things. I've never had a meal service come with such like sustainable packaging and every single thing we've had so far is delicious. I don't know how I tell like what is breakfast. Grilled raspberry marzipan toast. That sounds good. But everything is packaged so nice and it tastes like someone just made it that morning. So it is definitely on the pricier side, but for all of the quality ingredients that it has, I've really been loving it. I don't know what breakfast I wanna go for. One of the things I have been very excited to try is their juices. I'm gonna do the Magnifi no, Mango Magnificent ACV. What is in here? Mango juice, monk fruit, lemon balm, coconut milk, turmeric, magnesium, ginger, some type of mushrooms, and you mix it with a cup of water. Okay, I did not need this big of a jar. We're going in the mini. Oh, that's really yummy. so yummy. Mm. Breakfast is done, so now the important stuff. I'm going to shower and I'm gonna try to not wash my hair. I know I've mentioned that like a million times, but now that the sweat has dried, I'm like, maybe we have a shot. So yeah, shower, get ready for the day because that always helps me to be a little bit more productive. And then we're gonna sit down with my planner, list out everything that needs to happen and get motivated. Now that I'm ready for the day, I'm back in my planning corner. And I told you guys I was gonna come back to highlighting this new planner. So whether you're a type A person like me, I love a plan. I've always loved a planner. I think there's so much power in writing things down. So the Daily Grind Planner is one of the only planners that I found that helps you to actually achieve more. Even just looking at the everyday view, it has so much space for writing in whatever those goals are. So whether they're mental health focused, getting a workout in, having tasks for work, things outside of that, school, I just feel like this can apply to everyone by really making you your best self in the shortest amount of time. Like I was saying earlier, you buy like the planner refill pages. So it's so sustainable because you don't have to get a new planner every year, but you get like in four month segments. Today I filled out the April one because we're just starting April. So I just numbered the little days and then I have my top 10 goals for this month. I haven't completely filled this out because I wanted to take a little bit more time to think about those goals, but look how easy it is to just move things around. I have the planner tab. So I put the sticker April on this one. Wait, watch this. You can just peel it off and put it in any different section and then you just push the tabs back in like that. And that's the same thing for refilling the planner pages, which is so nice that you can just rip a page out and start over. They gave me a code Natalie to use for 10% off of your order and I can't recommend this enough. I really did not think that I was gonna be able to find a planner this year because it's already a little bit into the year. And usually if you don't get one in January or August, you're kind of done. So when I found this one, I was so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out for what we have today. And that way I'm not gonna get overwhelmed and we'll actually be able to get done everything. It's time to wash the bedding. <laughs> I 
I wanted to make sure the bedding has time to go ahead and cycle so I can make the beds like as soon as possible. So now we're getting into what I'm probably been dreading the most, but seems like the most exciting part, and that is going through my clothes. I'm blessed to work with a lot of fashion companies and nobody needs to have like so many pairs of clothes, but I think my slippers are making me hot. But I think that when we purge things out of our closet or you just allow yourself room, like I don't need certain things that I haven't touched in my closet for months and months or even for the past year, then I can allow myself space to maybe thrift something new or wear something that I maybe wouldn't have remembered that I had back in there. So I think it's really good to do this and it helps my style going into a new season to have everything in my closet be something that I'm excited about or it's versatile. And I know it's time to do this when I run out of hangers and my closet is looking too full to shut. And I'm throwing things in the top of it. Most of my clothes I try to give to different friends that I have in the area, but if not them, then I try to give it to a local women's shelter or like some churches give donations to people who need these items. So when I go through clothes, that's where they go. This is why going through things is hard because I think that this is absolutely adorable. It's like a little jumper, but I never ever wear it. So if I never wear it, do I keep it? And then I'm like, if I'm even questioning it, then why would I keep it? But it seems like my style, like it's linen. Ugh, I'm so torn. This is a beautiful dress, but I have not worn it and it's been in my closet for a while. So I think it needs a new home. These were so fun in the fall time, but I just don't think that this is in my color palette and it does not excite me to see them. So it's time for them to find a new home. Why am I speaking about my clothes like they're a lost puppy that needs rehoming? <laughs> mega progress this is all stuff that I need to get rid of and my closet is feeling so much better I'll give a final look at the end because I still need to go through some other things but it's like everything has a spot I have a ton of open hangers this side there's nothing up top and then the other side is harder to see because of our bed but I feel like once I get the sheets in there then I can give you the full look I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated. Let's go to the office. This is what we're working with in here. This is like my makeup getting ready station and it has so much crap on it. And then this side isn't as bad, but it's still like things all over the dresser and the drawers are overstuffed. I have to go through all of those drawers. And the real bad part in here is the closet. This has ended up as just like a junk spot. Honestly, it's very overwhelming and I try to keep things that I need to film in in this room so that I know like what needs to get done. But it's just like stuff is everywhere. I don't need this many bags. I don't need all of this stuff here. I have toiletries like filled in there that I may or may not use. It just feels very overwhelming so I keep the doors closed but at some point we've got to get to them and at that point is spring cleaning time. So I don't even know where I want to start in here if I want to do drawers, desk area, or closet. I think let's start with the clothes. I'm like exhausted going through this. Why does this feel like it's melting my brain? Oh my gosh. It actually feels really good to have room for more new t-shirts. It is crazy how much stuff that just sits in there that I never wear. Now to tackle the closet. True. It's feeling so much better in here. I went through a bunch of these drawers and just got rid of some toiletries that I won't use. Greta actually just let me know that their church is doing unopened toiletries for kids who have been in the foster system. So that makes me feel so happy for things that I just have too much of or I don't need that I can bring those over to her because I think I'm seeing her later this week. These are a couple of my new things that I need to film. 
And then this side is completely free. I do think that I'm gonna stack some clothing that I do have to film in. These are for an exciting partnership. So if I just leave these here nice and folded, then I just have those accessible, as well as some new gray bandit pieces I wanna film. So that is feeling good, but now the rest of the room is not quite feeling good yet. I've made this into like my little makeup station, which is very nice, but it's definitely clogged up with a lot of different packages and stuff. So I want to open up these, go through these different drawers. And then I have a bunch of clothing that I just threw in this corner here. So that all needs to be dealt with. These are my new shoes I'm so excited about. Sometimes I leave shoes in the box for a little bit just to keep the hype of it, I guess. I don't know. Will you take my boxes down? Josh came up and he's like, oh, are you almost done? <laughs> no because why does this take so long? You got, you got some stuff. I know. And I put it off until it's daunting and it's daunting right now. Yeah, I just need to maybe turn some music on and rapid mode get through this because this is taking far too long. What kind of music? I was thinking One Direction. That's not a bad choice. Thanks. Who's the best person from One Direction during One Direction? So you don't want me to say Harry Styles? No. Well, you can, but I'm saying during One Direction. I have to clean. <laughs> Same. Okay, the music worked because it's clean in here and it feels so good. There's still so much more that I want to do to my office, but like, she's clean. You saw how messy that area was before, so obviously that needs decoration, but she's very organized, very clean, and nothing in the corners. Then obviously that is my dresser area, and it's like cluttered with stuff, but in a cute, organized way. That's kind of just the decoration of it, but no extra things, and all the drawers have been gone through. And like I showed you earlier, the closet is feeling so much better. Everything has a purpose, and then once I film these, I can like put them away in my closet but all the drawers have been gone through. So now I guess I need to go back to my room because she needs a little work. Honestly, I am horrified. That pile right there is for me to hang up and put away. This is get rid of, and all of this right here is get rid of. So it's looking like I'm needing another One Direction jam sesh. pillowcases are still in the wash. I'm not gonna lie, that took way longer than I was thinking, but now it's finally time for me to show you the finished look. Everything is organized in here, and now I'm ready to get some design inspiration because this whole wall really needs some inspo. All the drawers were gone through over there, and everything fits perfectly. And the closet and all of these drawers are organized as well. The bedroom didn't have a bunch of stuff other than me washing the sheets, so our pillowcases are still waiting on that. But the closet feels so good. Everything has a hanger, and then I included my like leftover hangers up there for when I get more stuff and all my drawers were gone through, as well as all of my shoes over there and sweaters and sweatshirts, so it feels so good. Whew, I am exhausted. I'm checking in with my planner because I know that I wrote down everything I needed to get done today, and as much as I do feel productive that I've gotten some things done, it definitely wasn't everything. Obviously the planner, like I said, is a huge motivation tip, but some other motivation tips that really help me to get things done when I really need to is one is kind of silly, but setting a time lapse on your phone. This I did recently to clean my office. My office just gets so messy, but the last time I put a time lapse on my phone and then I couldn't touch it or be on it. Or I'll do like a reward system. So if there's something I wanna do, like go get a coffee, which that actually sounds really good. Then I'll say, okay, if I finish going through these clothes and get that fully gone, then I can go get a coffee. And the third thing I would say is force yourself to do those little things that you put off. So like if I cleaned my whole room, but I left the pile of clothes that I really needed to take down just in there, then they would just stay in there. They would make me feel sad. It would like look like clutter, even though I did this good thing. So as much as I didn't want to go bring all of those down, you just got to do it even when you don't want to like push through that feeling and then you will feel so good after and thank yourself for that. Okay, go through closet, done. Organize office, done. Grocery shop, not done. 
um, film video. I had a video that I needed to film for a brand, but I think I might push that to tomorrow. This is really cool because these little check things either say done, almost, or tomorrow. Record weekly vlog. That's what I'm doing now is this like motivation spring cleaning video. So I'll say almost done. Um, wash bedding, done. Clean guest room, done. Go to my workout, done and post the video I needed to today, done. So I've actually gotten a lot more done than I was thinking and honestly writing it down and crossing it off just made me feel way more accomplished than I did. So things that I still have to do is go grocery shopping and edit some of the videos that I've recorded in the past couple of days. So I think I'm going to go get myself a coffee because that sounded really good and take you guys grocery shopping with me. I need to plan out like dinner for tonight and probably honestly dinner for the next couple of days. I don't know if this is a mistake and it probably is, but it's like 4.30 and I'm going to Trader Joe's, which it's always so crowded in there. So that's gonna be interesting. And I don't really have a grocery list. I wanted to do like a sheet pan dinner. So sweet potatoes, onion, like just a bunch of different veggies and chicken tonight, maybe with rice and then salmon bowls tomorrow. So I'm just gonna pick up things for that and then kind of like our little necessities and I'll show you what different produce we get and stuff like that for our week. I'm gonna do a small iced coffee. Uh, I'll do oat milk and one pump of butter pecan and one pump of blueberry. Uh, that's it. All right, you're at 384. Thanks. Thank you. Ooh. All right, let's taste test it. It's looking very light today, so I'm kind of suspicious of that. They always give me the freaking most mega straw. Yeah, this doesn't taste much like coffee. Okay, that's unfortunate. The flavor is still good. It's just not dark at all, which I feel like you can tell. It's kind of milky water. It's not bad. It's just not great. And I've been doing these iced coffee koozies because I hate when my drink sweats on my hand. I get mine from All Things Lillian. I'll leave her like linked in the description, but look how freaking cute this little cowboy boot thing is. Well, watery coffee or not, let's go to the grocery store. Grocery shopping is complete. I always feel so much better when we have like healthy meals at home. And we've honestly been eating out so much recently. So it feels good to kind of have like produce and fresh stuff and everything. I just love having that all set up. So time to go home. And honestly, I might even get started on an early dinner. Sourdough bread, a must have. Bananas. And I'm not really sad when they go bad because I've been loving making the banana muffins. Oh. Chunks. I like the jalapeno ones, Josh likes the red. I like the jalapeno ones. You do? Yeah. I would have gotten all jalapeno. Ah. Apples and mango, avocado and sweet potato. Um, honey, because we ran out of honey. A cucumber for our salmon bowls. I needed a refill on my yogurt. I do like dairy free. And then I tried to buy the Publix hash browns. Nothing can top these Trader Joe's ones. They're so delicious. I got a pesto because I want to make like a chicken pesto pasta. Edamame. This is for the salmon bowls as well. Bird's nests. This is another Trader Joe's. Have you ever had them? Um, I don't know. Is that like hash brown bird nests? The, yeah, they're like little potato. They're really yummy. Onion, carrot, kale. It's tempura vegetable. It's delicious. This is yummy. And then two packages of the organic free range chicken. And I got the little tender ones because I like cooking those ones more. So this isn't like a full haul because obviously that's only two meals, but usually we make bigger, actually no, salmon bowls, which we already have the salmon for, and then a chicken pesto pasta, and then a chicken sweet potato and apple like little mix. So this is, three meals and then we try to make enough so that we have leftovers for lunch the next day because making lunches is just the worst. Well, I already showed you the update to the living room, which is a bunch of new plants and then this chair that we got on Facebook Marketplace. 
but something that we just ordered is actually off of Wayfair. We've been looking for a coffee station over in the kitchen. I have the small one that I have just from our apartment, but we wanted a big one that would fill up like that whole wall. So I'll put a photo of the one that we got. It's just this like nice white color, but I like the arches on it. And then I wanna do cute hanging mugs above it. It's quite a bit bigger because I wanna get a coffee pot and have my Nespresso in there. But I'm excited about that because I wanted to order some new cute mugs to hang which means that I need to do more cleaning out of that little mug area because I can't like keep all the mugs that I have now and get new ones. So I'm excited about that. Do we have any other house updates? Just a million plants? Yeah, I guess just a million plants. And then I guess I should look for some more plant pots as well um, because we've been really enjoying doing plants everywhere in the house. But I think that is the end of this nice and productive day. I hope you got some motivation tips or some inspiration to be productive or any of the above. This ended up taking a lot longer than I thought. Anytime that I do these like deep thorough cleans where you're going through drawers and pulling everything out, it's like so taxing. But I know that now that I've done this, it sets me up for the spring season to just feel so cleansed. Like going into my space is peaceful and I have room for new things and it will inspire me for my style and all of that. So I'm very excited that I did this and got to bring you guys along for the journey. Um, if you end up going through your closet or just helping your like mental clarity and all of that, then I feel like that's the goal. Hopefully, you know, we just got some motivation together. I'll leave the link to the planner that I suggested in the description box. And then as always, like any links of different things throughout the video. But if I'm missing anything, then just feel free to leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching this week's video and I will see you next week.